I'm Marin Millar. I'm a Browseware Guild member. I have a background as a designer, a pattern maker, and a product developer. I've worked mostly in the outdoor industry for companies like Eddie Bauer, Outdoor Research, and Filson. And today I'm going to show you how to check the measurement spec of a graded garment against the actual spec. The reason I chose this tip is because my clients often send me pattern pieces from their factory and I need to check and make sure that the pattern meets their spec. Now I'm going to show you how to check your garment against the spec. I always start checking my garment like I would check a normal pattern, and that is by finding the high point shoulder. So first I click on the front shoulder, and then I clone the edges by offset. I already know that this one is 9 16 offset. Then I go to the back shoulder, and I do the same clone the edges by offset, and I extend it to the edges. Now that I have the high point shoulder defined, I can draw in all the measurement lines. I actually already did this, so I can speed up the demo. I have the back neck width, the HPS to hem, the chest, the cross back measurements. Next, I'll show you how to define a measurement. I'm going to enter the sleeve length, so I'll click on center back to shoulder, then I'll shift click on the sleeve line and also shift click on the cuff height. Then I go to the actions pane and click save as ruler. This will save it in the measurement chart. Then I rename it to sleeve length. Next, I'll just show you how to add the bicep. So I just click on the bicep measurement line and then I save it as a ruler and enter bicep as the name. Now, before you can check the graded measurements, you need to confirm that all the measurement lines are graded properly. So if you click on the nest button, then you can see whether your measurement lines are graded correctly. Now I can see that the chest measurement is not graded correctly. It graded automatically in the X direction and the Y direction but the Y needs to match the underarm because it's always one inch under the underarm. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grade the measurement line. So I go to tools, sizes and grading to open up the grading pane. Then I click on the underarm point and then I'll copy the measurement. In this case, I only need to paste the Y measurement. So I select the points click on grade point to make them graded points, and then I paste the Y measurement. Now I need to do the same for the front. So once I've pasted the Y measurement, you can see the lines are now graded correctly. I'll just do the same for the bicep. So in this case, I only need to copy the X measurement. So I click on the sleeve underarm point, Click copy in the grade point, select the points, check on the grade point, and then paste the X measurement. Now the measurement line for the sleeve bicep is correct. So if you have more custom measurements or custom grading, you'll need to go to the sizes and grading window and enter in your custom measurements. And if you have a more complex garment, you will definitely need to do more grading on your lines, but we'll keep it simple for this demo. Then go to the export button, click the drop down, and click all sizes. Now we can export a graded size chart as a CSV file. I've already saved that in the interest of time. Next, open up the spec from your client which is just a simple spec that I made for this garment. And then you can open up the CSV file, which you exported from vStitcher. Now you can compare the measurements from vStitcher against the spec of your client. And that is how you check a graded garment against a spec. I hope you liked this tip and it will help you to check your garments against the graded spec.